let's start with one. For the time of the Inquisition, in the late 1400s. Were you there then, Zadie? I don't think so. <laughs> this is the story of Manuel Bardino, a shoichet, who brings his family from Spain to Lisbon, Portugal, to escape the Inquisition. But the Inquisitors arrive on Portuguese soil, and the Jews are being hounded again. Now, Bardino was under pressure to convert. To escape that fate, he had hired a ship to take his family and friends to Naples, Italy. But the ship did not arrive, and Bardino had to face the Inquisitor, Diego Elvista. decision should take little time. The wrong decision has consequences forever. You wait for a ship, Bardino, but no ships are coming for you. <laughs> yes, we know everything. We have been most patient awaiting your decision, but our leniency has its limits. You asked me to abandon my people, to betray my faith, how can I do this? How can you do this? You are a fool, Bardino. You know what we can do, what we are capable of. You have been at the auto de fe. You have heard the screams of children. You have seen women burn while they lived, hair and skin afire as they cried out to us. You have witnessed the tearing of limbs as strong men begged for death to end their misery at our hands. Do you mock us? In the morning, in seven hours, when the markets open and the people gather in the town square, you will come back here to this spot to confess your sins before the city of Lisbon. You will discard the beliefs of your fathers and become one of us. If you cannot do this for yourself, then do it for your wife and your beautiful children. It would be sad to see them in the town square suffering as others have suffered for their stubbornness for your stubbornness do you think Bardino your life is of any meaning to us we selected you because you are a leader of your people a uh, a slaughterer I believe is your occupation when your countrymen see your act of conversion they too shall follow this is why we need you and you will now obey. An hour after dawn, 
you will return to this place penitent and cooperative to renounce your faith before the citizens of this city. Go now. And Don Manuel, give our love to your family. Father, I had a dream. It was amazing. Go back to sleep, Ezra. We can discuss dreams in the morning. But it was about the ship, the one to Naples. I saw it. Oh, you sound tired. Go back to sleep, please. But the ship, it's the one Stop with this childishness. The ship has sailed. But I saw it. Oh, my son, yeah. It was... Supposed to be a ship. What is to become of us? <laughs> we were going to Naples. The ship is out there. There is no ship. In my dream, I saw it. Something. No, someone showed me. The ship is painted black. To blend in the dark. It has three masts. And a wooden bear carved on the bow. The captain, he's a big man with a red beard and a scar under his left eye. He paces the deck looking for us. His name is Mendoza, Carlos Mendoza. Yeah, Mendoza. But there's no ship in the harbor. It's not in the harbor. They were searching for Jews, so they hid the ship behind an old wreck outside the harbor. I can find the way. The way to show him. The ship. This is a miracle. The name of the ship is Ursus. Enough, enough, I believe you. Quickly, Ezra, go wake up the children, wake up the family, tell everyone we're leaving two hours. In two hours, okay? You got that? Don't need to show you at Naples, too, no? Wow, Zadie, did the Bardino family make it? Their ship sailed just before dawn. Elvista soldiers were only minutes late trying to stop them. The people celebrated on the ship for the whole trip from Lisbon to Naples.